the goat. Close the door, homie. You know, back home they call you the pig farmer. That description is apt. And yet, you also have goats. I do also have goats. And a horse. And I had a dog. Tried cows once. Bill raised a neuter or something, but... <laughs> Well, most people have. I don't know, chickens and cows. You got goats. Hmm. Is that uh, judgment I hear? <laughs> no judgment, no. Uh, just wondering, why goats? Goat milk. Ah, there can't be much profit in that. Oh, there's enough. Besides, I had you. Have. You still have. As I've said, nope. I'm no longer interested in that particular revenue stream. We're the ones who sever ties, and you don't want us severing ties. I believe I made myself clear. You know, <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation a couple of times now, and you still don't seem to get that I'm done with this line is just going to look really silly at the end of the day. You were asking me about goats. <sighs> yeah, goats. I like them. They like to play. They'll eat just about anything. The milk's an acquired taste, but I've always liked the cheese. Oh, Meat's cheese good with the right curry. A Ooh. friend taught me that a while back. So, while. you like them for the utility? I like them because they're playful. Want to get started? Hmm? Started? Milking. Hey, look, there's one of them. Oh, hey, really? <laughs> I've always wanted to try that. Well, here's your chance. My goats are smart. They know what's up, so they'll just walk up. Mm, here they are. Come on. Am I really about to do... Oh. Now, they'll just take their positions here like they should. <laughs> Got feed all ready for them. Just uh, you take a seat there. Yeah, you sit uh, down. Uh, not very comfortable. <laughs> mm, suppose not. Well, now that we're seated, <laughs> all you gotta do is grab the teat. And grab the teat with the thumb and forefinger. And pull? No, 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 don't pull. Rhythmically sort of squeeze. Rhythmically squeeze with the rest of your fingers. <laughs> Gently pushing the milk out. Uh, like this? <laughs> Just like that, yes. All you gotta do is do that till the goat's out of milk. Huh. This is kind of nice. I find it relaxing. Well, I think I could get used to this. Mm, why don't you? Say yeah. what? Why not get used to this? Why, then come work with you? Sure. <laughs> yeah, some folks might take issue with that. Well, we can't make everybody happy. Exactly. Better than ending up shot. Shoot him? Hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gun down. Life over just like that. I usually get to shoot back. Well, we all wind up dead in the end, don't we? I'd rather live as long as possible. <sighs> what good is that? Living? What good is living if you ain't happy? Fair. I'm not happy. About the same time, I'm not. It could be. I don't think I could. Well, that does it for the goats. Still, uh, thinking about what I've been saying? No. I haven't stopped. Changed your mind? Nope. No. No, I have not. Told you, Chief. I'm done. The tree. You know what this is? A uh, tree? <laughs> well, you ever seen a tree like it? A, a tree's a tree. Remember all them roasted chestnuts at Christmas? Oh, sure, sure. I mean, I kind of figured. Been by often enough to see the chestnuts myself. Why, is it special to you? This is an American chestnut tree. Oh, hey, Saul. Uh, he's telling us about his American chestnut tree. American, huh? Thought they all died. What? <laughs> you remembered. You remember? I used to remember things. Like the American chestnut. Um, I, I, I'm a little lost here. Oh, a couple weeks back, Saul came by, said you couldn't make it. Business as usual. Saul so had a bucket of chestnuts, asked if pigs could eat them, so we got to talking and I told him about chestnuts. Uh-huh. And what did you learn? Pork tastes better with chestnuts. 
and most American chestnuts had died off. Why does his voice sound familiar? Long before you or I was born, the American chestnut was prized for the quality of its wood. Jimmy'd like that. Oh, that he would, that he would. But this tree, there ain't many like it left. American chestnuts almost all died out because of the Asian fungus around 1900 or so. The chestnut blight. That's what, like a couple hundred thousand trees? Oh, billions. Four billion trees Jeez. snuffed out practically overnight. A lumberjack suddenly out of work in places like West Virginia. Those economies never recovered. God damn. I thought West Virginia was coal country. Logging, too, before it all died off. Now there's trees like the General here making nuts year-round. The General? And I feed them to the Reds, and they grow nice and fat and tasty. Mm. Seems lonely. Uh, nice, fat, and it tasty. It is lonely. Heartbreakingly lonely. To know everyone else you ever loved has passed on. So, I look after him, and he looks after me. I don't know. Sadie and I, we, we talked about being buried here, you know. Changed your mind? Hmm. Brody's grave was enough for me. But, uh, I don't know. I thought about having him moved. I, I don't, uh, I don't know. You've got plenty of years left in you yet. So, what's the moral of the story? With the, the trees, I mean. Be wary of outsiders. Heck no. There are trees out there that are blight resistant. Maybe even the general here, but I'm too afraid to find out. With enough time and horticultural understanding, we could have done something. Preserved all these trees? Maybe we could have. They are magnificent. It's just... It's just that... I don't know. I wasn't trying to teach you a lesson or anything. I just... But you did make a point of it. I did do that. I just, it's a part of me is all. And God willing to live for a hundred more years. I'm, I don't know. I see myself as a custodian of sorts. And one day I'm, I just. So I'll go ahead and wait for me at the van. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Look at me. You're thinking about dying. Thinking you can pass this responsibility off to someone else. You don't have to do this. Give the tree another decade of your time. Well, the time of my demise aside, someone ought to know about the tree. Jimmy'd love to know about this. Well, oh, Jimmy would cut it down. <laughs> he would. He would. Please. Don't tell him. Hey, I'm good at keeping secrets, but Jimmy's Jimmy. Oh. Please, let me rest here. And if there's a way, a way to, oh, oh I don't know. Okay, okay. Hey, you got more to show me, right? I don't know. Do I? Do I got more? The way. The garage, huh? No tour would be complete without the garage. I have to ask, why a sports truck? I think they're called coupe utility, but, uh, you mean why not a sports car? Yeah, I mean, I always figured you'd have a midlife crisis like the rest of us. Sports car, <laughs> motorcycle, an affair, something like that. Couldn't really say why I love these so much. Saw mine one day. Fell in love. With that? Mm-hmm. Had to bring her home with me. <laughs> I'll admit, it has a charm to it. But she won't run. No? Well, pop the hood. Let's take a look. You're serious? Sure. Already had my midlife crisis. All right. <laughs> Motorcycle? Sports car. And these puppies, well, you know, they're similar enough. Some of them even use the same engine. We can figure this out. All right. Off the hood from the driver's side door. Got it. Now, let's see here. Can you get me that drop light? My eyes aren't what they were. Oh, 
there we go. I was gonna say. Sure thing. <sighs> Thank you. Saul's a good kid. Hmm? What's that? Saul was a good kid. I like him. It was nice him coming by. Yeah? That's good to hear. Never met anyone with so much promise. Never? In my entire life. Saul's dad was a good man. Didn't think his kid had it. As a boy, he was too soft. But then he got older, graduated college, really came into his own. Eager. More capable than he knows. Huh. Mm. Great listener. <laughs> Can you believe we were his age once? <laughs> Hard to admit. When I was young, I thought I knew everything. Yeah? And now? Today, I learned from you and him about chestnuts. <laughs> yeah, I learn something new every day, I suppose. You check the spark plugs? Mm. Give me a second. Uh, what about your boy? Bill? Bill! Oh, he's fine, I guess. That doesn't sound good. You guess? Hey, how old is he again? I'm born in 60, so, uh... 32, as of September. Huh. Roy would have been about his age. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Well, what's this about you and Bill? Oh, he don't want to talk to me no more. What? Bill? Toe-headed little guy? Always friendly and outgoing? That Bill? It's, uh... It's about Sadie. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Hey, mind if I ask you a completely unrelated question? Hmm? What's with the airplanes at your neighbor's place? Oh, Chuck's farm. Chuck? Huh. Yeah, what's with all the planes? There's no runway around here. Uh, you know how farmers are. Hey, have you checked the air filter? Yeah. And, yeah, I know how you are. You got plenty of junk, too. But I've never seen anyone else with, uh, uh, what are they, World War II bombers or something? I think he has a B-36. No kidding. You got no idea what a B-36 is, have you? Not a clue. Yeah. Have the foggiest. Thank you. Well, a B-36 is a big old bomber made out of magnesium. Biggest America ever had. Took two train tankers to fill one up. And you could fly from Monday to Thursday without refueling. So, well, so why does he, why yeah. does Chuck have one in his backyard? Yeah. Plus all the others. Asked him about that once. Hmm. Okay. Wire's loose here. Where? Right there. So, what'd he say? Oh, uh... <laughs> dead navigator came to him in a dream. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. oh. Dead navigator from the Korean War came to him in a dream, said the planes were in danger of being lost, and it was up to Chuck to save them. Okay. So, Chuck's crazy. <laughs> well, eccentric, maybe, but, uh... Yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? If I did, I'd have a different job. Why, do you? Well, I figure we all move on in some way. Energy is neither created nor lost and all that. So you're saying a dead navigator came to a farmer in the middle of nowhere, no offense, and yeah. told him no that it was his job to preserve airplanes? Yeah. Yep. So now there's a bunch of planes on a crazy coots farm. And he keeps them safe. Can you think of a better place for him to be? Hmm. No. Want to try running it? Sure. Sure. All right. Come on, come on, come on. One more time. Looks like she'll give you a few more years yet. Hot damn. Huh. Yeah. Remember Slick? Sure. He always wanted one of these. Where is he now? Mm, fighting Saddam. Jimmy tried to find out. Classified, I heard. Good oh. kid. Oh. Angry. Well, oh. maybe when he gets back. Uh, yeah. Thinking of giving him the car is what? Thanks for his service? Yeah. Why I not? never wanted to be thanked for mine, but that boy's seen more hurt than any of us. Deserves better than that old Pinto of his. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Well, where to next? He's really trying to, like, convince us, huh? 